everyone, it's Catriona here and I'm here to do a very simple everyday makeup look that I like to do in my day-to-day -day life. I hope that you guys can pick up some tips and tricks. So I'm here today at Novotel and I've got all my makeup in front of me. So let's get started. So first things first, it's always to hydrate your lips because later on when we do lipstick, it's good to have a nice moist base to apply our lipstick onto. For every day, I just like to use my compact powder. So I'll get a little bit on a brush and I'll just wash it over my eye. This just gives like a very plain color for your eyeshadow to stick out. So usually when it comes to eyeshadow, I actually use my bronzer as an eyeshadow, but any good warm brown will do. So taking this color right here, which is just a nice warm brown, I'm going to take that and apply it just above my crease as a general wash of color. Now for this step, you'll wanna just follow your general eye shape. And you learn that just by playing around and seeing what looks good on you. So for me, I like to angle up my shadows to make it look more cat-like. Also my nickname's cat, so it's very fitting. <laughs> so for every day, I like that kind of makeup effect where people are like, are she, is she wearing makeup? Yes, I put effort, but it's supposed to look like I did. <laughs> and go in with this beautiful orange color. I love oranges on the eyes, especially for us brown-eyed girls, which most of us are here in the Philippines. It's almost like I'm doing a V. So what I like to do, and I think looks really pretty, is get any kind of metallic gold or bronze shade that you have. I'll use this one just here. It's like a nice light rose gold. And then just use your finger don't need to be all fancy and technical with a brush. Just use your finger and then just put it on the center of your lid. Yeah, so that's the top shadow base done. So just find yourself a creamy black eyeliner in black or dark brown, whatever you like. And I know this might look weird to some people or it looks scary, but you get used to it. It doesn't hurt, I promise, as long as you don't poke yourself in the eye. Of course, you'll know. But um, it's called tight lining. And what you do, you kind of look downwards and you will trace the bottom of your lash line with your pencil. So go ahead and do the other eye. Just really work it into the base of your lashes. So there's my tight line done. It can, it just makes me have fuller looking lashes. But if you wanted to emphasize your lash line even more, this is the trick that I usually do. I'm going to exaggerate my lash line just a little bit. So what I mean by that is I will just trace along the top of my lash line and kind of wing it out just ever so slightly. Now it's just a little hint, but like it's just making that subtle, it's all about subtlety in everyday no makeup makeup, which is the makeup that I like to do every day. You cannot go out the house without fixing your lashes. Curl your lashes. Trust me, it makes a whole world of difference. So next off, find yourself a really, really good mascara. Lash Define by Everbelena Advance. So the, the technique about putting mascara, for me anyway, that I find works for me is I need to look down because I am one of those individuals who just can't wink. <laughs> so it's like wiggle and flick. Next, of course, is key light. Because key light is life. I like to just go over that and it's small strokes like I'm not coloring back and forth and the weight of my hand is still quite light so it's just like light feathery strokes as if you're doing hairs yourself so I'll just go in and do the other brow filling in my sparse areas yet again So there's the eye done. You can see it's very natural again. Um, there's no crazy brow highlight. Um, if you wanted to do a highlight, you could use your face powder. I don't think putting shimmer on your brow is good for daytime because it looks a bit crazy. So now that I've got my eyes and my key light done, it's time to do my base. For me, I like to just use a concealer to do like a spot coverage. So I'll go in with my concealer and the main areas that I want to target are my under eye. So I just dab, dab, dab. And if I were to have any spots, I could just put 
a little bit there, a little bit around my nose, a little bit on top of my nose, just to reinforce like that my nose will match the rest of my face. Tap, tap, tap it in. Once you're done with that, you get a nice big powder brush and then your compact could be any powder compact. I mean, I like applying it with a brush. Why? Even though it comes with a sponge, I find that if you apply it with a brush, it gives a lighter coverage, whereas a sponge is if you want a really like heavier coverage. But now that I've set my concealer, I want to go in with my blush. Why before setting completely my face? It's because I'm going to use like a, what they call like a liquid or a cream blush. So this is the Leap lip and cheek roller in the color toast of New York. I'm going to apply just a little bit on my fingers and work real fast because it dries really fast and then just blend it on like the apples of my cheeks. It looks natural like it sinks into your skin, it looks dewy, it looks you know it just looks like you're blushing like you saw your crush. <laughs> Especially if you're doing sports, you're going to the beach, this is perfect. So just to set down my cheek tint. I'm getting out just a little bit more powder from my compact and just sweeping it. Now this will mattify your face but we will go in with some highlighter in a little bit to reintroduce that glow again. So this is the highlighter in strobe and you can see it's like a mixture, it's like a champagne, like a very light gold. So you want to get like a small fluffy blending brush tongue twister saying those kind of things and just get a little bit on your brush and just pat it off and then find the high points of your face so for me it's just here on my cheekbone my brow just a little bit on the forehead so I'll go ahead and just oh it's so pretty I love highlighter <laughs> if you can see it's just a really nice hint so when the Sun hits you it's like oh what is she wearing <laughs> So last, one of my favorite parts of makeup is lipstick. Today I have two colors that I'm going to show you guys. The first one is called Bassy or Batchy. I'm not quite sure. Here's a swatch. It's just a really pretty mauve bright pink. So that's Batchy. And then the second one that I'm going to show you guys is called Bellissima, which is a much more darker, um, it's a very fall color actually. It's like a dark, um, how would you describe it? Like a dark, dark mauve with like a brown undertone. And these are the matte nudes by Everbelena. So I like just applying it out of the tube. Don't need to be fancy. Just so that's just a really pretty everyday color. It's just a sweet pink. Um, if you're going out with friends, you're going out to the mall, to the cinema, or even to wear to office, or even school, I think it's appropriate because it's just a very sweet, light pink. The next color I have for you guys is Bellissima. And this is more of a nude for when um, maybe you're more mature, like I think my mom would really love this, or it's um, a really nice fall look, like that coffee colored lip. Um, and even for evening or if you're trying to put on a makeup look that you want to last from day until night this is a perfect color for you so that's bellissima it's like I really love it too because it brings out the browns in my eyes and my hair I feel like it's just a really deep beautiful brown nude and these matte lipsticks smell really good like they smell like vanilla and vanilla is my favorite smell so. <laughs> okay, that's why I like it so much so I'm going back to Batsy or Bassy B-A-C-I what I want to wear today so I'm gonna put that one back on it's just a really peachy light pink I love it so there you have it guys that is my no makeup go-to everyday makeup look um, paired with a really nice peach lip and I hope you guys learned a bit from the tips that I was able to share with you those are things that I picked up along the way again um, yeah it's all about just subtlety being really fresh simple and once you get this down you could do it in 10 minutes so let me know if you guys do this look yourself tag me in your photos I would love to see and also tag every Belena special thanks to Novotel for having us here today and I'm off to my event see you